Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. I'm super excited tonight to be talking to you about the quick intake form in Clio Grow. Now, I know a lot of people that don't care to use the form or don't find it very helpful because it can be hard to manipulate. However, there is a way, there are a couple ways that we can customize that quick intake form in Clio Grow to make it so much more helpful for you and so that you can really use it as a powerful tool that it was meant to be. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to hop on over to the screen and really, I really think that using this is going to um, help you to be able to really get more out of Clio Grow essentially. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on over to my Clio Grow screen and you may recognize the first page here is our pipeline. Um, but what I'm really focusing on tonight is this quick intake in the upper right corner. When I click on that, the idea is I have someone on the phone or someone that just walked in and I quickly want to get a bit of information from them so we can start tracking them throughout their uh, journey with us. And so I can fill out their contact information, of course. I can fill out what the case is about. Um, but when I come down here, this at the very bottom is where I can start adding in my own fields. And so you'll see here, I'm pretending like I'm a personal injury firm and I've got the date of the incident, the type of the injury, just some super basic stuff that I wanna make sure that we collect in our first contact with someone so that we can figure out exactly how to handle that file, whether it's talk to them in a consult, um, you know, sign them up right away, whatever the situation is. And so I wanna show you how you can get these fields onto your quick intake form to begin with. And so to do that, we have to come on over here to settings and we find the section that says custom fields because those are custom fields that I created. And if you click on that, you'll see all the custom fields. You'll also notice that a lot of these have little um, Clio check boxes, if you will. That means that that field is synced with Clio Manage. The A1 number one rule that I want you to remember when working with custom fields in Manage or Grow or both is always create them in Manage and sync them back to Grow. Whether you're going to use them in Manage or not, it gives us the capability of having that sync set up in case we ever want to use it in the future to transfer information. So again, the A1 rule is I went to my Clio Manage and in fact, here we've got our Clio Manage screen where I went ahead and clicked Add and added some custom fields, okay? So once I had those custom fields added, I came over to Grow. I clicked the top button here that says Sync Clio Manage Custom Fields. It took a few seconds and now they're all synced, okay? So I happen to have a bunch of them here, but just by syncing the custom field does not put it on the quick intake. You have to then go into the field and let's take, um, for example, let's say I want to add the insurance company onto my quick intake because as you recall, I didn't have that. I just had the type of injury and the date of injury. So I want to add the insurance company. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit here in Clio Grow and I'm going to click on add to all matters. And when I update that and I go back to my quick intake now, it's going to have the um, insurance company right here. And so now I've got the date of the incident, the insurance company, and the type of injury. Because I created them in Manage, I clicked this button here to sync them, and then the ones that I wanted on the quick intake, I clicked on Edit, and I checked Add to All New Matters. So that's how you can get them on the quick intake. Now when we're looking at the quick intake, of course this is all great information for us to collect, and it's a great place to have it to remind us to stick it in there and to ask the client about it. But depending on how much information you're collecting here in custom fields, it can become a bit overwhelming, right? If I have 10 pieces of information and they're not in the same order that I asked the questions, um, if I have eight pieces of information even, and they're not in the same order that I typically approach the conversation, that can be a little more confusing and a little more hectic. So in order to put these in the order that I want them, I want to point out to you that they are alphabetical. And so if I don't do anything, I just name them the correct field type, it's, or title I should say, it's going to put them in alphabetical order. Well, I don't necessarily ask them in alphabetical order. I would much prefer that they follow in the flow of the conversation that I usually have with my client in the intake conversation. So in order to change this order here, we have to trick Clio 
and tell Cleo that um, trick the alphabetical system, right? So again, if I make any changes to my custom fields, I'm not going to do it in manage. I'm going to go ahead and do, sorry, in grow. I'm going to go ahead and do that in manage. So hop on over here with me. We're going to find these same custom fields, the date of the incident, the type of the injury, and the insurance company in manage over here. And so I'm going to find them. And let's see, we've got our first one, I believe, is on page two. We've got the date of the incident. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to simply say, usually I ask, you know, when did it happen? Um, and so I'm going to put an A in front of that because I want that one to be first. Okay. Then all I'm doing is changing the title, right? Then I come over here and the second field was on the next page, I believe. And that was the type of the injury. And um, yeah, I usually do talk about the injury type second. So I'm going to hit that as B. And then the third one was the insurance company, which is right here. And I usually ask that last. So I'm going to go ahead and make that C. Now you'll recall before insurance company was in the middle, it was it came in second because it was alphabetical. Now I'm going to go ahead and I change these custom fields to put some letters in front of them. I went ahead and I'm going to come over to my Clio Grow. I'm going to sync my custom fields again so that it gets those updates because again, I'm going to deal with custom fields in manage and sync them back to grow. And so now we'll see when we go to these, we've got A, date of incident, B, type of injury, and C, insurance company. And now when we click on the quick intake, now they're going to be ordered as such. Okay, so this is a very easy way to go ahead and make that change and have these follow an order that is more logical for my conversation and easier for someone to follow along. Now, before you dive in and do this on your own account, just be aware that when you change the name of that custom field in Clio Manage, if you have any document automation templates set up that can, um, it can disrupt or damage your document templates and make them unusable because you now changed the name of the field, which changes the field code that was used in coding those templates. So please be aware that if you're using any of these fields in any document templates, those will need to be updated to make sure that they still continue to work in your document templates. So please do try this on your own account. Let me know how it works out. Again, I feel like having those in the order of the flow of the conversation makes it a lot easier for us to collect that data and a lot easier to use. So now I can use that form to get a lot of information that I need and go ahead and collect that prior to them hiring us. So please do check that out. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear about your adventures and we will see you soon. Thank you.